BSS rhythm BSS rhythm BSS rhythm हेलो एंड वेलकम डियर लिसनर्स आपने ट्यून इन किया है बीएसएसएस रिदम द इंटरनेशनल ऑनलाइन रेडियो और मैं हूं आपके साथ आरजे प्रियंका लिसनर्स आज हमारे साथ बीएसएसएस रिदम स्टूडियो में मौजूद हैं एक बहुत ही स्पेशल गेस्ट और मुझे उम्मीद है कि आज का यह इंटरव्यू सुन के आज का यह पॉडकास्ट सुन के बहुत से ऐसे यंग एस्पिरेंट्स जो हैं वो मोटिवेट होंगे इंस्पायर होंगे तो हमारे साथ आज रिदम स्टूडियो में मौजूद हैं एम अरुणा मोहन राव मैम मैम वेलकम टू बी एस स्टूडियो इट्स माई प्लेजर टू होस्ट यू टूडे थैंक यू सो मच प्रियंका तो लिसनर्स आगे बढ़ने से पहले मैं आप सभी को मैम का एक छोटा सा इंट्रोडक्शन देना चाहूँगी अरुणा मोहन राव मैम एन आई पी एस ऑफिसर ऑफ नाइनटीन एटी सेवन बैच शी इज़ अ वेल नोन पुलिस ऑफिसर इन द स्टेट ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश शी हैज अर्न अ नेम फॉर हर सेल्फ विद अ डेडिकेशन स्ट्रिक्टनेस हार्ड वर्क सेंसिटिविटी एंड एम्पति आफ्टर अ सक्सेसफुल स्टिंट एज ए एस पी एंड एडिशनल एस पी ऑफ रायपुर डिस्ट्रिक्ट शी सर्व एज अ सुपरिटेंडेंट ऑफ पुलिस इन नरसिंहपुर डिस्ट्रिक्ट फॉर ऑलमोस्ट थ्री ईयर्स शी ऑल्सो रेंडेड वैल्यूबल सर्विसेज एज एस पी ऑफ रायसन डिस्ट्रिक्ट एस पी रेल इंदौर डी आई जी ऑफ होशंगाबाद आई जी लोकायुक्त ऑन प्रमोशन एज एडिशनल डी जी शी वॉज द आर्किटेक्ट ऑफ न्यूली क्रिएटेड ब्रांच ऑफ क्राइम अगेंस्ट वीमेन She set up a robust system both at the headquarters as well as at the district levels. Extensive awareness to create a positive environment for women, girls and children across the state. Concrete efforts led to a large number of convictions especially of death sentences. So ma'am to begin with first of all I would like to ask you what is UPSC exam all about because you were in this field you have so much experience so i, I think you are the you can guide all the listeners in the best possible way definitely so upsc is uh, one of the premier uh, examinations conducted by the union public service commission of india and uh, this exam is held every year in three stages the preliminary exam is generally held in the month of june and uh, this has two parts Uh, which uh, two exams which are conducted in a single day the first exam is general studies uh, which comprises of all uh, topics like history geography political science uh, science and technology current affairs and uh, the second exam which is held in the second half is uh, csat it's uh, it's an exam with uh, basic numeracy uh, your reasoning ability uh, english comprehension and a little bit of maths So this exam is of a qualifying uh, nature, the CSAT, and uh, the f- uh, the examiners actually first uh, evaluate your CSAT paper, and if you get your thirty three percent marks, then your general studies paper is evaluated, and on the basis of your general studies uh, marks, you are selected for the next uh, stage, that is the main exam. Okay. The main exam will con- consist of uh, t- uh, four papers of general studies, and uh, each paper will have. Uh, uh, two basic subjects like uh, geography and history political science and uh, um economics uh, that way you have uh, four uh, general studies papers and then you have one optional in which you'll have two uh, papers you have an uh, uh, hindi or you have an indian language which you have to qualify you also have an english paper which you have to qualify and uh, you have an essay paper which is uh, included in your uh, total marks on the basis of these marks then uh, you are uh, called for an interview and uh, a board of very senior uh, academicians officers lawyers journalists uh, a very senior uh, board will interview you according to the detailed application form that you fill and uh, the proportion of uh, the selections are like if uh, for for one year there are 1000 posts so you have um, for the preliminary examination one is to 10 uh, for every post 10 people are uh, selected to write the main exam and in the main exam uh, you will have 2 2000 people who are selected that is one is to two for the interview so when you go to the interview you have a 50 chance of making it and 50 chance of not making it so um, the pro- the portion of upsc consists of static subjects like political science history economy but it also always has a element of the current affairs which are going on in that particular field so one needs to be very very updated about what is happening around you about the developments in the country and uh, the history of the country and uh, the uh, 
going on in the world like international relations uh, what kind of foreign policy we have how are we dealing with so many different countries and uh, uh, nowadays the uh, trend of uh, upsc is more uh, uh, internalized in the sense that uh, lots of questions on um, the indian uh, situation or the in india's development india's uh, how we are faring in so many uh, fields our economy our politics our space research or science and technology goes all these subjects are uh, combining them with the current affairs uh, they are being asked so the expectation of upsc is because uh, if you uh, create uh, if you uh, get through this exam what you are going to become is an is officer or an ips officer or an revenue service officer or a international trade officer or uh, you'll be uh, getting into uh very very important posts in the country which are the most important posts which are not only um building up the administrative structure in the country but also helping in uh, development in all fields so uh, you have uh, you have to be an administrator you have to be a policy maker you'll have to be uh, somebody who will implement policies of the government you'll you'll have to show the way to the government so uh, sardar patel called the um, the uh, upsc or the is on the ips day he called it the steel frame of india okay. so this is the structure this is the uh, foundation uh, of uh, on which the government is uh, you know it, it stands it's operating it's operating yes. absolutely very rightly said ma'am that uh, it is the basic structure in which on which the government is operating ma'am continuing this uh, i would like to ask you that hame aisa kai bar dekhne ko milta hai most of the time ki Uh, ये जो सब्जेक्ट्स आपने हमें इतनी अच्छे से इन डेप्थ में बताया कि क्या सिलेबस है क्या क्या करंट अफेयर्स भी सही से हमें प्रिपेयर करने होते हैं तो मैम ये सब जो चीज़ें हैं मतलब काफ़ी डिटेल्ड सिलेबस है काफ़ी माइन्यूट एस्पेक्ट्स को भी ध्यान में रखना होता है तो मैम इससे लेकर बच्चों में काफ़ी कन्फ्यूजन रहता है वो ब्लाइंडली टॉपर्स की स्ट्रैटेजी फॉलो करने लगते हैं उनका वो जो बुक्स रिकमेंड करते हैं वो पढ़ने लगते हैं तो मैम वॉट शुड बी द करेक्ट वे या करेक्ट डायरेक्शन विच शुड बी गिवन टू द एस्पिरेंट्स I think uh, uh, I firmly believe that each बच्चे का जो uh, intellectual level है वो अलग अलग है So right. blindly following somebody is not going to work for everybody. तो right. so, अपने strengths और अपने weaknesses को पहचानना बहुत ज़रूरी है कि आपका strength क्या है उसको और strengthen करो and आपका weakness क्या है उसमें gaps fill करो तो unless you have your own perception of yourself and how academically you are uh, inclined, आपका uh, किस में ज़्यादा interest है क्योंकि कभी कभी ये जो सिलेबस इतना लंबा चौड़ा है एंड इट इज़ एक्चुअली यू नो नॉट हैविंग एनी बाउंड्रीज सो यू डोंट नो वे टू स्टॉप एंड वे टू स्टार्ट तो कभी कभी हो जाता है कि आदमी उसी में खो जाता है एंड देन यू बिकम डायरेक्शनलेस सो हैविंग अ पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन एंड टेकिंग करेक्ट गाइडेंस ऑफ वॉट टू स्टडी एंड वॉट नॉट टू स्टडी एंड sometimes become very important what not to study yeah. because you find that you are studying for hours together uh, on uh, topics which are completely you know not useful for your exam so sometimes so, it's difficult to figure out what are the important exactly. topics from exams point of view and what we should leave for exactly you know. so there is a lot of difference between your college study and upsc study okay. college may you have to uh, be very thorough with your subject you have to write long answers yes, and uh, in upsc you have to apply those concepts how you apply it how you interpret the particular question and the uh, and what kind of uh, elimination you are able to do because so that requires a very very in depth knowledge of the concept so conceptual clarity agar ho so then you know how to interpret that question and what to leave out and what to um, uh, to get to the correct answer so it is more like smart study it's more like uh, focused study and it's more like uh, going through the earlier question papers at least 5 to 10 years ka question papers upsc ka uh, mains and prelims ka dekhna hi chahiye taki ek you will get to know the mindset of the uh, examiners and what are the changes that are going on in the mindset of the uh, examiners because every year they'll be uh, focusing on one particular topic which is maybe a little more than other topics yes and then they'll be uh, asking uh, different kind of questions so you have to be uh, well equipped with your knowledge but you'll also have to be very smart in how to uh, answer yes ma'am so ma'am regarding this i would like to you know know from you about your academy and what are the different 
uh, and new aspects i must say that uh, which can um, inspire the students and help them to prepare well for this exam yes priyanka so uh, after my retirement in march this year i and my family we thought that instead of going back and relaxing and having a relaxed um, retired life we should contribute something back to the society we should give something to the society which has given us so much of you know uh, it has given us social status it has given us comforts it has given us so many challenges in life it has taught us so many things it has given us so much of experience so we need to share this experience with the next generation so is uddesh se hum logo ne rouse academy for competitive exams is jooms ko humne start kiya tha and uh, the basic uh, aim is one is to equip the student uh, with uh, all kinds of knowledge of course a uh, time bound uh, schedule of uh, completing the portion topic wise tests and uh, then uh, last may we'll have uh, full length tests for the students and uh, our usp will be that uh, we ourselves are officers my husband yes. is an ice officer i am an ips officer we have cracked the exam we have uh, gained a huge amount of knowledge over 30 35 years of service then uh, we have access to serving officers who will who have an inclination towards you know motivating and counseling children so they will be coming and talking to our students then we have new entrants to the service who have just cracked the exam so they'll come and give you a whole how they what their journey was how did they prepare and how did they uh, pass the examination and then we also have faculty from delhi good faculty we have selected who will come and teach all the main subjects to the students so our aim is that uh, to get more and more uh, children who get uh, who pass through the exam from uh, madhya pradesh and from bhopal because uh, you have you must have seen that um, compared to other states the representation of madhya pradesh in the uh, civil services is quite, quite less yes agree so ma'am i think it's definitely a very good you know initiative uh, by against by again serving the country with your experiences your learnings yes. and you know making young aspirants into a polished officers yes. by with the help of your academy so ma'am uh, at the end of this podcast just like to ask uh, another question that what are the misconceptions regarding this exam uh the uh, the misconception basically are that people are very scared to take this exam they, they there is a myth that it is extremely difficult but if you see uh, uh, recent examples of very uh, uh, children who are, who have studied in government colleges who are from very uh, you know a very um, uh, small backgrounds they have also cleared the exam yes. it means that it is not impossible to do this exam it only needs focus it needs a, a particular direction it needs a way of uh, study so darne ki koi baat bilkul hi nahi hai isme and another myth is that uh, you know uh, i can't do this and uh, you know it is a complete waste of time and things like that but you see if you give your uh, com- full effort Uh, even if you don't get through the upsc you are gaining so much of knowledge for yourself right. that uh, you will be able to get some uh, you know job definitely uh, if you appear for other exams makes also. us capable of appearing in any other exactly it equips you with so much of yeah, knowledge right. so you become a complete person after you do your uh, you know the whole syllabus so you know you know so many things and then your current affairs will keep you abreast of all the things that are happening in the country and in the world so you become a better person you become right. a well equipped person and uh, you will uh, be able to sustain yourself in any other exam also right. so that is one of the uh plus point of this exam yes and it should be taken in a positive way there's no need for you to be very negative about it because this any in any which way it's a win win situation if you get to the service or well and good if you don't get you you you'll definitely make it in some other uh, job ma'am but what's the right age to get into this service so that accordingly the what are the promotions or what are the ne- yeah. next steps into the service or next so, positions uh, which are given yeah so you um, you are eligible to write the exam once you are 21 years old yes. and most people by that time finish their graduation and that is the minimum qualification also so uh, i would recommend that uh, the students should uh, you know uh, take guidance from their first year second or third year so by the time they are in the third year uh, just by revision they can go and write the examination and the earlier you come into the service you serve more you gain more experience and you reach the highest level of uh, the promotions like uh, for an ips officer reaching the level of dg 
and for an ips or is officer reaching the uh, level of secretary to the government or uh, to become the cabinet secretary or things like that so you find that people who have come at the age of 21 22 they become cabinet secretaries generally yes. because the others who came who come late they retire before that yes so uh, getting them cashing them early this should be the <laughs> right <laughs> very right you said <laughs> as early as you get into this services yeah. it's beneficial for you absolutely and the day you have confidence that i can crack it you should take the exam yeah right and prepare f- uh, keep preparing in the sense that keep reading the paper every day then keep listening to the news that what is happening and your static subjects ncrts you start studying 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 so that you by the time you finish your graduation you will be well equipped um, most of the times now it is seen that the engineering students mba graduates even the students from commerce background are applying for this exam yes. so what should be the strategy who are not from arts background and are from different streams what should be the short term goals short term strategies for them to prepare these subjects like polity uh, history you uh, uh, you must have noticed that engineering students are making it into the upsc nowadays a large chunk of them yes, there are many doctors there are many people who have done professional courses who are coming uh, back to these services because one is the security of the job one the another is the social status that you gain after getting through the upsc like you see that any child who gets into the upsc uh, over here overnight they become sensations yes right. the whole youth icons they become so um, that is the prestige that is attached right. to this job these jobs but otherwise uh, engineers have a edge over other uh, because of csat other candidates because of csat yes. uh, in reasoning and uh, right, basic ma'am. maths they do very well so they easily clear that yes. paper and for humanities students the, it's a little difficult because maybe in 10th or 12th they left doing math so it becomes a little right. tough for them uh, and uh, but write guidance in this also mm. because it's only a qualifying exam so what are your strengths in csat you do that and uh, if you are assured that you are getting through then you you should not attempt questions which you don't know at all because uh, there's negative marking in yes. both the papers so you'll lose out on that so uh, that is that is strategy of how you actually um, uh, attempt the paper okay ma'am at last any messages for our young aspirants and listeners who are my uh, message always is that uh, these are the exams in which you can uh, help in uh, nation building you can take a lot of initiatives for uh, the uh, downtrodden the backward people women children people who have been uh, subjected to a lot of exploitation over the years and uh, wherever you are posted you will find that there are always some uh, issues uh, mm-hmm. like ho sakta water electricity nahi hai roads nahi hai these kind of initiatives obviously you can take immediately mm-hmm. because so uh, the if you have a motive of serving the society yes. serving the yes. people serving the nation then this is the only option that you have right ma'am ma'am thank you so much for being with us today it was a pleasure to host you and listening to listen to your words of wisdom and it's uh, i am i am and i'm sure all the listeners and viewers who are seeing this interview will get motivated will get inspired by seeing an ips officer uh, giving them the sharing her experiences and giving her insights regarding this exam thank, thank you, you so, so much, much ma'am thank you so much priyanka it was my pleasure thank completely. you ma'am thank you BSSS rhythm BSSS rhythm BSSS rhythm